Major Flood, and it's destroyed two of my things. Amazing. Oh, you love to see it, don't you? Let's get the builder in and repair it all. But I have the shrine, which means I can now get the missionary, and that means I can get some era score, and guarantee we go into a golden age. That deal from America, by the way, has really backfired, because I don't have a spare copy of Sugar now. It's all gone. Oh, look, another flood. Same city. Two tiles broken, including my holy site? Yep, including the holy site. Oh, my goodness. What is it? As soon as I use the multiplayer word, natural disasters just seem to slam into me all the time. I don't know what it is. Barbarossa! Hello there. Honor to meet you. Where are you? You live down here in Arkan. Good to know. Kabul. Some very good military city-states here. Oh, I didn't even need my missionary in the end. Okay. Good to know. Keep you in reserve. France's military is increasing rapidly. I have noticed that. That is something that concerns me slightly. Horseback riding. I was just waiting for that boost. Not far off stirrups, though. We just need feudalism and three mines. Three mines we can get. Three mines is absolutely on the cards. Finish the government plaza quickly. That'll give me the governor I need to start spraying settlers out a little bit more. I'm gonna make myself a swordsman. You know what? Maybe I will go and steal a city. Ah, no. I need to learn. I need to learn, Ursa. Don't use combat all the time to get your way out of this. What's the other way we can do this? What is the appeal on tiles? Any good preserves around here? Possibly. There's a lot of high preserves around this area. I think we need the commercial hubs, don't we? Aqueduct that. Industrial zone that. Am I allowed to put a dam on that tile? I think I am. Means a few cities are going to have access to stuff in that area. I'm just working where I can't put a commercial hub. I think this is the town. Although actually Nimble could put an industrial zone there. You see, look, it's always worth just double checking because of that. It's going to be this town. Commercial hub, let's get it done. Bordeaux, that feels like a very cheeky saddle. How do you not have a proper loyalty problem that I don't even know? Sometimes you just have to sort of go, okay, cool, 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 cool. What, whatever, whatever. You do what you're going to do. There's nothing I can do to stop you, clearly. And there's no way that Bordet will stay loyal. It was going to flip. It'll absolutely have to flip. Surely. You'd think, anyway. Grabbing that tile is quite annoying, I won't lie. Quickly grab this. I just didn't want to spend all my gold on silly tile purchasing. That's exactly what I'm being made to do right now. I'm also just investigating the missionary. France doesn't have their own religion. I think it's fine exploring. Kabul is gone. No! Kabul was so good. It's rubbish. That's rubbish. Kabul was a very, very good way of breaking into the military game, but we're gonna again have to find something else. There's Paris, population 10, and Rouen. Wow, we did, we, st we started very close. I feel like that was too close. Ah, theology. I'm gonna put urban planning, colonization, strategos. How close are we to the general? Pretty close. Fine, I'll, I'm not really working on colonization at the moment. Let's go for scripture. Bit more culture per turn now. It's 79. I feel like this start has been incredibly slow. Never mind. It's fine. Keep going. Never give up. Now we shall. Well, from France is a huge empire. Fair play to them. 54 strength all of a sudden as well. There's no way. There's no way we're going to be able to start a surprise attack on France. Good thing I didn't declare a war, eh? That would have been very, very messy because they've got pikemen. Again, very good thing I didn't declare war on France. They would have had the perfect counter to me. Start getting my internal trade routes going. I think I have very little, if no decent gold routes yet. So we'll instead get the food routes going. Two food, one production. Hey, the production helps massively get this holy site finished. The government plaza is completed up to plus four on that holy site, which is now plus eight. We just need the ancestral hall, which is going to take absolutely forever. Good. Fine, we need to do it. Make it so. Magnus. Surplus logistics. Extra growth in this city, and this trade route is now worth five food to production. It all helps. Leventa, now that helps as well. We still have diplomatic league in, and we have one, two envoys. So we can pick it up and give myself the grass cutting sword because we've just met Yosemite. Oh, an actual relic. Yeah, that's handy. That's genuinely really good. Faith per turn is one of the ways we're going to find a way out of this hole that we find ourselves in, I believe. Uh oh, my scout. Uh, I think his voyage of discovery might be over. What's going to kill him? Put your bets in chat now. Is it going to be the volcano, the blizzard, or the barbarians? All three are willing to consume this scout until it is dead. It's going to be gruesome. It's going to be messy. What's it gonna be? I think it might be barbarians, you know? Yep, yep, it's dead. Goodbye, sweet prince. The volcano didn't even go off and the storm went away, so it would have been fine, probably. Oh, America, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Oh, this is exactly the sort of shenanigans that you would pull off in multiplayer. I'm doing it. Sorry. But I need a break right now, and if you're gonna leave a settler, like, undefended, I will absolutely take it and then run, because there's no way I'm holding it. <laughs> we'll try 
to make peace when we can. That That is just too tempting. I'm sorry. It's going to happen. Everyone's going to denounce me, but I'm not trading with anyone at the moment. So being honest with you, I don't think it matters to me. Everyone's like, how could you? How could you do that, Ursa? And I'm like, with great ease. Middler's after me, but I feel like I can survive that one. I'm pulling back. I think this settler is a little bit exposed where it is. We're going to try and move back over to this spot. Bit easier to defend. These borders are so confusing. Why, why have we gone for pink and pink? Or violet and pink? Or purple and pink? Or whatever you want to call it. It's too close. It says minus six. But I feel like I need to make this settle and I need to hold it. Widget, this one's all yours. You'll also notice this holy site finished. And it culture bombed. Well, hey, We like that. It's, it's big. Let's throw walls up in this city as quick as possible. Fountain of Youth. Oh, I found it about three turns too early. Oh, I missed a relic. Damn. There you go. I, I, I knew. I knew having more temples quicker would have been a really good idea. Alas. Unless I'm going to feed the world and I force myself to do it. I often forget to build them quickly. So that is frustrating. Nant. Oh, there's no way you're holding on to that one. That's really good. I should pick up this city. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. The population slash loyalty really isn't as bad in this city as I had feared. Let's get this builder because if I can put one mine down even briefly, apprenticeship will boost and complete. The holy site of I'm Daft is finished. That's a plus six. Things are finally starting to switch on now, which is good. I'm going to have to get defensive tactics in briefly though. Limes in you get. Get these walls in. Get these walls in. And then I'm going to get the walls in here with Ancestral Hall. I'm going to very quickly just pick up Hannibal. So I have one great general. And then I'm going to also in a couple of turns get a couple of warrior monks just to keep myself safe as well. Widget now follows my religion. Move you to the... Nope. That's a corset. Okay. That's not good. I just need the boost for apprenticeship. That's all I'm here for. Magnus gets provision. Now I can get some settlers out with Monument Mentality. Five turns for feudalism. We're racing through the culture tree. If nothing else, the culture is good. Bam. Archer just got killed in one turn. That's terrifying. There's the medieval era though. Excellent. I do like three inquiry, but I don't have enough commercial hubs to make that worthwhile. So monumentality it is. We've got 63 faith per turn and provision in this city, which means we can now get settlers in for a very, very cheap amount, which we are absolutely going to run. I'm just going to pull this builder back. I don't want to take that risk. And in my capital, we are going to purchase in a warrior monk, which does increase the war strength of Widget. I can't believe I'm having to defend with warrior monks. That is awful. One more mine. Anywhere I can get a quick mine, nimble. You might be the place, you know. Let's just get the builder in. And some more archers. I need a defense. For some reason, America isn't too happy with me right now. Remember, Widget is a free city. So if nothing else happens, then we're still winning, you know. We're one city up. If Widget falls, then we'll take it as a net neutral result. I'm going to try and vote for holy site buildings and I would like to culture bomb. I less care about that but we're going to put three votes in. It's unlikely my votes are going to mean anything. It's a 10 player game and I have really no say. No buildings in holy sites. Oh wonderful. That really really does must be. This game is a test. This game really really is testing me here. Like everything that could go wrong is going wrong. If we can pull this off. My goodness that's going to be incredibly jammy. Right stirrups. Boosted by few that will give us knights. Knights will give us hope. By the way, warrior monks are really quite bad. This is not going to help my defense at all. All it's doing is just helping Widget to have a little bit of defensive strength. Just a little bit. Okay, my heavy chariot took a big hit there, but it's going to heal 15. It's still defending on a very nice tile. Can't believe the science that America has. 185. It's pretty crazy. Feudalism. Whoa, hey. I think Limes is still pulling in heavy work, isn't it? It is. Urban planning less so now. So serfdom goes in for that. Diplomatic League I think is still probably the way forward of a charismatic leader for now. Will probably help a touch as we get more pastures down. One turn off the Ancestral Hall. Let's just keep getting settlers every time we can. Another archer done. Better get myself a better government now. So what are the courses going to do? They're going to start attacking me in earnest. This heavy chariot is holding for now. Don't know for how long though but it is holding for now. Time to get Pingala and we really need the science. Into my capital you go. Ah oh, no. They broke through. I honestly thought we'd have the defense to hold that line. Another city state. That one's got seven envoys in it. And strangely I don't think we're going to win that one. I think all my walls are just about up now so limes can now come out of the government. Instead I am going to put in maneuver because I am actually building a couple of heavy chariots with the idea that I can promote them. Okay my warrior monk is in a couple of fights. Took 45 damage it's going to heal 15. I think that should be enough. You should be able to survive
survive one more round, especially because I think there's going to be another level of fortification next turn as well. Just hold in there. Hold in, good sir. You, Mr. Warrior Monk, need to survive. You are legally obligated. No pressure. Got other heavy chariots now on the way. My capital is trying to produce a few of them before stirrups. I feel like it's important. I can't tell you why it's important, but I feel it is. My warrior monk valiantly holding the wooded hill, please. You're our literal only hope. You must not fall. I know these American courses are tougher. You just have to, you have to hold. Anyway, here is another city. Adrianople. It's next to a mountain. It's on fire. Don't worry about it. Frankincense battles what actually, you know what? There was a decent holy site that I could use here to make use of this tundra. There's no better site around it, I don't think, or at least one I can get anytime soon. So let's just quickly grab the ivory in, jump and grab that tile. Sorry, Earl Grey, but it's already plus three. We have to rock it. We have to do it now. As I'm practicing for multiplayer in the winter, one of the rules that does often come up in, you know, very hypothetical charity-based games is at the end of every era, you end up having to make peace. So I like this peace deal. Tiny bit of gold, but I have to pay out, but we can get rid of America. We can shed them from our lands after a brief little scuttle. I steal the settler. I lament the fact that, you know, everyone hates me and we move on. I'm also going to try and settle three cities that kind of look a little bit like this. Yeah, my space is cramped. This is not good, but we will keep settling out when we can. I will still plan for that invasion of France, which is unlikely to give me anything. But Lyon, Ambrose, just two cities there. Bordeaux, all of this would be really good to pick up, actually. Leon and Bordeaux would be fantastic, as would Nantes. Six turns until knights. We've got the Hippodrome. We have two heavy chariots. So we do have some units we can use. And ah, uh, we can invoke the power of Earl Grey T into Pingala to give him Researcher, which probably next turn will give me another 50% science. So let's take that. Is it right using all my faith on settlers at this point? I think it is. I think it is worth it, but it's 50-50. Mm, I'm really hoping this first 100 turns was tough. We had a bit of a funny start. We missed out on work ethic. There's a lot of stuff that didn't quite work out. This game is really going to push me to my limit, I believe. If we can just hunker down, if we can get the next 25 turns to get all of these extra cities out, we can build up our infrastructure. Maybe, maybe there's hope for us yet. Building some commercial hubs, try and get the trade rocking and rolling. Yes, the wonderful citrusy notes of Earl Grey have definitely hit my science line there. We're up to 30. Ignore the fact that France has 130. That's just the AI being AI, you know? That's just what they do. Two more heavy chariots. Excellent. We are so ready for our knight upgrade. Maybe we can beat the forts with our knights. Maybe. Maybe. Let's get another hippodrome down. I'm putting it on the tundra to give adjacency to everything else. Doesn't stop my panthrim from working, but it does improve holy sites a little bit. Well, as you know, it just shares the farm adjacency. It's handy enough. Stirrups. And civil service. Civil service itself is pretty useless because I have no friends. I know. Harsh. Still though, I have one knight. That's all I can afford. A single knight. And as you can see, it barely does any damage, but it does do some damage. Just need more gold now. City number seven. It's exciting. It's Takamoth damage. Got some extra iron in. Don't need maneuver anymore. Serfdom. Scripture. Let's go for conscription. A tiny bit of gold saving, but it's what I need. Chopping down the woods. Hippodrome was no accident. I know. I got another knight. A second one. Let's get an arena now. How hard could that be? Military training. That doesn't help me at all. Never mind. It now means I can go to mercenaries, which will help me get knights quicker. I think the thing that I'm struggling most with in this particular game is my lack of direction. We found ourselves trapped into quite a small space. I've got a decent chunk of cities compared to everyone else, but nothing special. My science is rubbish. My culture is rubbish. My fave isn't good. My gold is rubbish. I don't really have a way of winning this at the moment. So what I need to do is focus. Do I want to get involved in a huge war with France who can throw walls up and basically stop me in my tracks? Yeah, I could build a few catapults. I have a great general. It would be possible to break this stuff, but I need a lot more if I'm going to go that way. Maybe an economy is what I need, more gold, but then the gold routes I've got, to be honest, these aren't great either. Plus five? That's rubbish. We're stuck on internal routes, and yeah, internal routes help my original, my, my first few cities, my first few population to grow but as you can see, can't really expand very wide at the moment either. That is lost on me as well. With a wrong Byzantium, we can't be using horses to kill walls. I think we do have to commit to the war, but it's going to take catapults to break through the walls of Ambrose. If we can take 
like Ambrose, Leon, and Bordeaux. These three cities, that will help massively. But I can't attack until I'm ready. And I'm ready when I've got about four knights that can run in and take a city in one go. Only then. Only then do I really have the power needed. Once I've got engineering, we'll get construction. Then we can get lumber mills. That will actually genuinely help me with my economy because there's quite a few forests around that I could use. I'll get a few builders in as well. There's some farms. There are some holy sites that haven't been fleshed out properly. It's the worst thing, isn't it? When you're trapped between about three different terrible strategies. Which of the terrible strategies would you like to utilize? Another hippodrome has been finished. Thank you. It's another three night. Means my capital is actually ecstatic, which is pretty cool. And this is city number eight, and it will have a plus 12 holy site when it's done. We can get a bit of culture. Red Mandrake, I'm counting on you. 200 turns for a holy site. Oh boy, that's an obscene amount of time. There's a good holy site there I can get if I was to settle on this city. Mark that. Yeah, we're really going to have to squeeze out as much as we can from this area, as many cities as possible. Tundra is the only thing that I have available to me right now. Hey, look, it's fine. Doesn't matter. That's still a plus six over there. Yeah, two more cities. Okay, so one, two, three cities can be put down, and we can probably explore into the tundra above America as well. Construction. Dromans would be quite handy as well. I could use Dromans to spread my religion in this area. Not that I have Crusade. I need to keep remembering. There is no Crusade in this game, Ursa. You don't have that usual crutch to get out on. You're gonna have to just assume that you've got something else that you can use. Hungary has conquered New York. Ah, oh, look at all this fighting. Amazing. France is stacking crossbows. It's a lot of crossbows. Curious. I don't know whether or not we're gonna have enough army here, especially not with the resistances that we're seeing. Let me look and see how much a catapult is gonna hurt the walls, because I've got a little bit of tax of strength and a great general, so we might be able to nudge them. Just depends. It depends on how much. City state emergency. Oh, we could join in on a city state emergency. I'll let someone else put it through. That will reveal a lot of the map to me, and I think I'm actually gonna grab a cad here, just because I think it'll be really good to divert France's attention, and now I can see all their cities as well. Tell you what, I need this no holy site buildings to go away. So many of my holy sites have nothing in them, and it is very frustrating. Is professional army another knight? One, two, three, four I've got now. Oh, what an army. Still rubbish, but it's an army. Oh, only the age of quest is going through. I'll go in on it because chances are we can just keep an eye and see what the AI is doing. We might find the AI goes very heavily on diplomatic favor again. Hello, Rome. Military emergency. Oh, the military emergency passed. Where is Rome? Guess they're just sort of fighting. Rome, I think it's up here. Ah, oh, Rome and Hungary would be a good old fight. My first lumber mills are now appearing as well. How much will my catapults do against Bordeaux? Quite a bit, you know, but there's just so many crossbows and the pikemen here will just resist my knights almost to the point of obsolete already. I could take Leon, but I don't think I'd have the loyalty to keep it. That's the problem. Not without moving Magnus. I mean, look at that loyalty pressure. Yeah, terrible. I mean, what am I going to do? I'm going to start a border war with a neighbor, possibly take a city that I can't keep and then expose myself to a retaliation. I think it's not going to work. We need another strategy here. We need technological advantage. We need production. We need trade. There's so many things we need and I don't have any of it. It is unfortunate that France and America are two of the most technological logical people on this map. You know what, let's trust my instincts and go full economy. I think economy is the way to get out of this problem. Let's settle, let's explore. Maybe there is land out to sea that I can settle on. Maybe there are more holy sites that we can finish. Maybe there are more internal trade routes that we can finish. There are always options, always options. I just think it's a death trap. We can't walk in on a war with Eleanor here. At least we now have a defensive army. Eleanor could have walked in the other direction. This is something that I also haven't really mentioned, but she could have attacked me and I would have been in real trouble. At least this way I can kind of keep it on my terms. Market finished. Actual trader it's now. Let's get a trader in and we're gonna keep sending them back to private selection Genoa Salami. Ship building. Now we can get Droman. Let's unlock the diplomatic quarter which I really did want to put in private selection Genoa Salami but we're gonna get the industrial zone out first. There's a lovely industrial zone set up here that involved putting an aqueduct down onto that tile and diplomatic quarter on this tile. It's looking good. Five food, two production. There have been better trade routes, but look at that. That has massively decreased the amount of time the Red Mandrake has now to finish this holy site. Let's just get this trader in as well. Now we're granarying and watermilling. Look at this delicious plus 10 holy site. Oh, I know. Pray, pray that one day we'll see a holy site with work ethic and Byzantium. That would have been play. She's saying that. Which religion has work ethic? It was actually Kemmer. 
Buddhism. It's quite far away, but if Buddhism makes its way up to me, I am absolutely embracing that religion as my own. I'm not even, I'm not even joking. Divine right. Switch straight over to that. It's just better in all ways. Conscription, done. Let's get retainers in, try and stay a tiny bit happy. Republican legacy, serfdom, and scripture. It's a slight upgrade. Not a brilliant upgrade, but it's a slight upgrade. And another trade route. Bam. Come on, holy sites. We need you. We need you now. Ah, okay. There are barbarian caravels here that is problematic that's going to stop my exploration just a tad we need to get to see though we do need to get to see the dromans i think are going to be essential here yeah these barbs are not messing around but that's okay chess and no we need someone else in and a banana there you go hold the line you have a warrior monk who has shadow strike maybe that will help <laughs> Weirder things have helped. Plus six holy sign. Now that actually will help. Let's build slash move the catapult and archer up with the great general. We'll be able to use to pelt barbarians from the shoreline. Ooh, big flood. Population lost from my capital and everything broken as well. No. Okay, let's try and fix it up. That's painful. That's very painful. Don't insult my cities for having low population when I've just had a flood sweep half them away. Harsh. Very harsh, Eleanor. Honestly, what's that all about? Okay, Celestia, the navigation is done and my catapult can start wailing on these barbarians. You're gonna need to leave me alone now. Connoisseur. I know the city's a little smaller than once it was, but it's still a lovely city. I'm gonna switch to theocracy as well because I want the extra faith and the faith discount on purchasing things. All of my holy site buildings are on fire. I can't fix any of them because of this world congress. It's not building anything new. It's just fixing something that's already there. Harsh. Very harsh. Very harsh, if you ask me. Yeah, these barbarians are starting to get slightly annoying. Luckily for me, I have a Droman that's going to sit in the city and start peppering units with plus 10 combat strength. Yes, but actually, and a banana, I probably should focus on getting walls in. I do acknowledge that. Voting time. I don't think I actually care about any of this stuff. Most city-states are being destroyed. I'll vote for religious because I like them, and I'll vote for me to have more trade routes. People might trade with me and give me a bunch of gold i might get another trade route myself nope gilgamesh fine doesn't matter theocracy here we come so retainers has given me nine amenities we've got conscription which i'm going to replace briefly with limes and a banana is just a tad desperate for them republican legacy goes back in i think that's the combo we want for now five three on the trade route we finished another beautiful market which means we can get takam of damage to have a trade route lots of internal routes coming down now maybe it'll help Help. Maybe this will all help. Oh, I can actually fix my holy site buildings now. Yes, holy site buildings are really important because we actually have plus four faith in temples and plus two faith in shrines. And next era, I think we're going to be focusing on Grandmaster's Chapel quite a bit. So let's just get faith as a resource. Yeah, Anna Banana is probably 50 50 as to whether it's going to survive or not. I'm not sure at this moment in time, but we continue peppering the surrounding area just in case. Private selection Genoa Salami wants this cat. Spot's done. Grandmaster's Chapel. You know you need to do it. Is that finished Kilwa? France is flexing on me here. There's a finished Kilwa right outside my borders. I don't like that. But equally, I'm not one to complain either. So let's just take it and not think about it too hard at all. Well, did I get any nighter, by the way? I don't see any pop-ups for it. Oh, there is one. Two. And Bordeaux's got one. All right. I'm going to steal that before America does. Ah, oh, next turn. I bet they grab it. I bet they grab it. So if we are going to get nighter, I think I will Rush gunpowder. Let's do it. Let's just go for it. Interesting. Vietnam has declared a surprise war against me. I'm pretty sure we don't actually share a border. No, we don't. You're going to have to go through France. Do you have open borders with France? Maybe you do, but I'm not suggesting that was a well thought through plan. Oh, well, let's just hit it a little bit. Go away, please. I don't want to, don't want to fight you, but I will. There's the knight of tile. Okay. I mean, Vietnam has a massive army. It's not surprising they look at me and they're like, like, hey, that is a very takeable civilization, but you need to hold firm. We won't allow such bullying to affect us. All Merchant Confederation, 20 extra gold per turn. Some games, that card is more needed than others, and this is one of those games. One, two, into Hong Kong. And that discovers the letter for me, which, oh, that is a good city-state. I'd like that. I would like to have the letter on side when I've got all of this faith coming in per turn. 
Okay, the odd unit is now beginning to run in. What I don't want is Vietnam to get an opportunity to raid my holy sites or other economic bits of my empire. So we'll just try and fight them off. Vietnam is very, very defensive is the only problem. However, by jiggling my units around just a little bit, should have the strength to get the kill. Yes, I do. Military science boosted. Oh, and we just happen to have spread my religion around a little bit as well. Oh, what a shame. You know what? I will go for this city-state emergency. Let's add this as a proposal. Let's spark just a touch of chaos into the game. Oh, candy was taken from me. No, the chance of getting a relic was the only thing keeping me going. Let's join in with the city-state emergency. I'm keeping as much of my favor as possible. This might discover a lot of the map. Nope, didn't go through. I could have forced it through, but I don't think it would have been worth it. Trebuchet finished. Now I have a feeling, yeah, trebuchets can do quite a bit of damage. I might be able to declare a bit of a surprise war on Eleanor here. Maybe take the city of Ambrose. Now that Kilwer is in. It. That has become so much more of an important target for me. Somehow I think Anna Banana is actually going to manage to get walls up, which is incredible. And we've got a great merchant that gives me another trade route. Oh, brilliant. Widget, it's your lucky day. So just moving my units around a little bit. We're going to lose a tiny bit of happiness because a lot of these knights were garrisoned in such a way. They were causing me retainer happiness. However, I can get two attacks in on Ambrose at the same time. I've kind of given up on this golden age, by the way. It would have cost me too much economy to make something work. I would rather just go with what we've got. Let's chalk up the normal edge. I think Ambrose should be a relatively easy hold if we can get it. Paris is already using coal power. Ha! Huh. Alright, well that means that France is up here on tech, which is slightly worrying. Yeah, it's a good thing. We need, to, we need to start expanding. My faith economy is about to pop. We've got a holy site, a holy site, a holy site, temple, a temple. I reckon by turn 150 we can get to 200 faith per turn and that's going to make a big difference. Also going to get Moksha. Put you in. I'm daft for now. Moksha is going to be my lovely governor of war. Yep, let's do it. We need to start moving. We need to shake the game up just a little bit to see what we can get going because if we don't move, if we don't do anything, well obviously nothing is going to happen. Warrior Monk, Knight, Trebuchet, Trebuchet both improved by the general. You can see the walls are already almost gone. Got a nice little opportunity to hit something in the sea. My Droman is going to be protecting nimble this is going to be a little bit frantic this war but i think worth it i think very much worth it if we can just hold see how badly the world reacts to this hey probably quite badly oh yeah just a little scout oh, it helps me spread my religion even more my religion is giving me 40 gold per turn it represents two thirds no even more than that probably three quarters of my entire economy lovely stuff buddhism that's what i want if i can seize buddhism that is work ethic i can steal work ethic and spread it around my own land. Trebuchet took 22 damage. That is not much. That is not much at all. Golden Age for France. This is the worst time to go to war, but what can you do? We're going to go for Exodus because this will give me two era score every time I convert a city. And don't forget, with Byzantium, we convert cities well. It's literally what we do. We also have a warrior monk and a knight here and here. They are going to be in charge of pillaging. Yeah, that's right. Pillaging. We're going to do a bit of pillaging now. Another holy site finished. That's the plus six. We finally hit 100 culture per turn. 31 turns too late. At least we got there though. Mississippi number 10. Baradur. A fine city with hopefully what should be a fine holy site. Oh that's an even better one. Might have to wait for that. It's expensive but I think it's worth it. Now France has been at war with Vietnam for some time and Vietnam has a very large incursion in France's land so hopefully their army is going to be genuinely distracted in this war. Yeah they're fighting desperately. This is all good for me although this isn't very nice at all. Suddenly there's a bunch of crossbow here. Ah, suddenly I feel I'm going to have all of my stuff pillaged. It's probably only fair. Let's go limes and raid to swap. Keep everything else for now. We could go wars of religion, but France I think is more likely to follow my religion than anything else. France has just increased the strength of these cities even more, so the trebuchets are now only barely denting them. Ah, we need to get the siege in. Luckily for me, I have knights everywhere. One and two will protect that unit. Bordeaux has flipped. Calais has flipped. That's a huge amount of era score. Oh, amazing. If only I had Crusade, eh? We can dream. 300 gold on that pillage. Excellent. Okay, the French army is very much now laying siege over Private Selection Genoa Salami. Not good. Not good, but we'll do what we can. It's 10 population now. Man, the pikeman has a big tough attack against me there. I could use my Droman to come in, though, which I think I will. Let's start seeing if we can do some damage. That's the priority unit to go and kill. I don't think I'm going to have the strength, though. City number 11. 
11. I know it's on a little frozen island. Legitimately, you could say that doesn't look like the best city and you'd probably be right. It does have access to a really cool holy site. So we're going to just try. Oh, France just used an ironclad to kill my Droman. That feels like a touch of overkill, if you ask me, but fine. I just lost my trade route from Takamuth damage, but luckily we got the holy site finished before that point. We've got another temple finished as well. Oh, that's looking really good all of a sudden. I can attack the ironclad, but you know what? Something tells me I don't think it's going to do a huge amount here. Try and kill this pikeman though. Yeah, lovely. Okay, well at least that's gone. Gunpowder. Hey, it all helps. Maybe I can use that to blow some stuff up. My first source of nitre, we're going to get our second and we can start praying in some units. And I think actually Magnus, I'm going to pop in Black Marketeer in order to then start praying out nitre units on the cheap. This caravel is doing all the damage to France, but I would want it to do, which is quite fun. Bam, there's naval tradition. Can I have a cad back, please? Thank you very much. I'm so grateful to this Vietnam France war. It's doing a lot of the heavy lifting for me. There's a slight improvement yet again to my internal trade routes. Now, a couple of them have been pillaged, but now they're six food for production, which is brilliant. Still trying to kill this city. It heals 20 health every turn. So every turn I can do more than that is a little bit of something. My knight is now the right side of the river, which is cool. Got warrior monks that are also helping to pillage. And this is where we can actually start catching up a little bit now. I'm working down the bottom of the tech tree. Let's go for castles, printing, siege tactics, military science. Cavalry and line of entry is going to help me here, especially with a CAD on site. Also just going to briefly take hold of the letter here because the letter, well, the letter is very helpful. The letter lets us pray stuff in. So if there are any weaknesses in my defenses, if there are any buildings I think I'm going to benefit from, like for instance, a monument, I might build that one. We're looking at cities that don't have a lot of production. Actually, you know what? Let's save my faith. The letter is really handy, but I think like having 2000 faith worth of buying, it's going to be really, really handy when Grandmaster's Chapel finishes. Castles, keep on pillaging. Pillaging is the only way. That is a knight core, which is slightly worrying. I could get cores myself. I probably should focus on doing that. I'm naturally just drifting along the top of the tree into colonialism and then into natural history. But thinking about it now, I think staying towards the bottom and going for nationalism is much more interesting. More pillage. Four turns worth of science in one go there. And Ambrose is now starting to fall. Come on, keep it going. Vietnam is offering peace. Fine, we'll take it. One last person that I have to worry about running into my lands. Come on. Come on, we must be close now. We are close. Next turn. Next turn, I think we should have that city. Come on, come on. Let me take the city with a warrior monk. You know you want to. Yes, we took the city with a warrior monk and we've got astronomy and buttress and a city that has absolutely no loyalty in it whatsoever. Let's keep it. Minus 15, you say. Lovely stuff. Now that says only minus seven. Can't believe that. Ah, oh, I had hoped beyond hope that maybe, maybe it'd be loyal, but no. Nope, it's gonna be a struggle to keep hold of it, but that's fine. We were ready for a struggle. Let's just keep pillaging, printing, plus three combat strength. Now to siege tactics. Okay, and of course, because it's Eleanor, it's just going to flip straight back to her. We're going to have to fight this war in as intelligent a way as we've seen for some time on this channel. We're going to have to really try hard here. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Portland, Clint Hennis, The Nickerman, Daddy Bear Todd, Toon General, Civilized, Kappa Yobby Vere Rainy, the Uncivil Engineer, Lillian, Radio Torre, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Skeptical Bear, Cinnamon Beard, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, El Truant, Creston, RB Hedged, Mushkin Mandeltort, Burial, I'm Daft, Gooberman, Dr. Bobby, Mixomatosis, MTG Golfman, Indigenous 68, Technology Poet, Teddy Zursa, Zaf, Barnaby Rex, Charlie Bears, Flying Dutch Burbs, Nate the Great, Alex Frost, Mean Penguin, Interplanet Janet, Frankincense Battlesword, Booker Luke 79, Bob Loblo, Geography Teacher, Juvara, Hal Karnassus, Morax, Sinekush, Echo Bear, Deja Fu, Kovu Wu, Legally Trash, Is This Live, Twin Cam Inferno, Martin S, Minnow, Sorta Dutch, Rad Bickley, Shadow of Gaia, Flower Power Bear, Poppy Dude, Dan Jemo. Thank you everyone for your support. Goodbye.